What would you say is your net worth? How much the world considers you being valued? For example, we often hear of professional athletes and they will say that they just signed this multi-million dollar contract and their net worth is, and they'll say some figure. Maybe it's the CEO of a company who's turned them around so that now they're in the profit as opposed to losing money, their net worth. When we think of homes, we think of a fair market value. So they'll look at things like square footage, your location, what kind of neighborhood are you in, those amenities, do you have a pool, uh, just those types of things, the school district you live in. When we think of our cars, we think of the Kelly Blue Book. So we'll go and find what the value is of having leather seats and an amazing stereo system. All of those things contribute to a higher worth or a higher value. So it's any wonder that as people, we can get really caught up with trying to raise our net worth. We try to earn more degrees and, and titles that go with our name. And that's not to say anything's wrong with those things at all. But if we're only doing them thinking it's going to raise the level of how well we're received or what people think of us, then maybe it's the wrong reason. We look at different things, like if I could just get that job, I can just get that title. Um, other things that we might consider or think about is if I uh, get this promotion, if my job reaches this level and I have this, now, this new higher income, if I get into this income bracket, then, then and only then, will I feel like I've arrived. Well, thankfully, we serve an amazing God who doesn't look at any of those things because he created us equal. There's no partiality. Women aren't above men. Men aren't above women. He doesn't look or favor young versus old, rich versus poor. He looks at us equally. And so we need to stop doing that because what we do is we compare ourselves and we say, I've got more or with a long face, we look and we say, I've got less than that person. Again, he created us equally. He loves us equally. And the beauty is there is nothing we could do to earn more of his love. And even greater, there's nothing that we could do that would cause him to stop loving us. So I want to ask you again, what is your net worth? Well, in his eyes and in all of ours, it should be priceless. So let's go out and live that life. We're priceless in his eyes. This is Coach Maggie helping you live a healthy life God's way. Take care.